And my name is Judge Harris. I spent 30 years on the Superior Court here in LA, and I did what I felt was best to uphold the laws of this nation. Hi there, my name is John Newcomb, and I had the pleasure of serving the fine folks at Eldon, Missouri as an officer of the law for 19 years before uh, my old knee went out. Hi, I'm Christina Martin. Um, I'm a Florida Bar Certified Attorney in Jacksonville, Florida. I've been a practicing attorney for about seven years now. Well, there certainly are uh, some problems with the youth today. I mean, they. I don't want to say they're pampered, but they, they, they're, they're not as strong as, as maybe they should be. The problem I see is that parents too often come to court and cry over the crimes that their children commit. And they, they beg and plead for mercy. They don't need more mercy. They need to be taught to do the right thing, to be respectful to the laws of this nation. When a juvenile is brought to juvenile detention, it's often treated like a day at school. Ideally, it provides a source of uh, stability, since a lot of them come from broken homes. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Is It True? Now, today, with the help of Fusion TV, we're going to test the notion that our judicial system has no idea what the heck is going on. Let's jump right into the game and meet our three contestants. Number one. We have Officer John Newcomb. He is a police officer out of Elvin, Missouri, who thinks young African-American black kids complain too much. I think all kids complain too much. But... Sure. <laughs> we all know what you're saying. All right, contestant. Number two, we have Judge Robert Harris from Los Angeles, California. He is a retired judge who thinks you can judge a book by its cover, especially if that cover is black or bro. How you doing, Judge? I'm doing fine, Josh. But you know, sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. And that's right. We're both going to be painting with different colors today. Hmm. Moving on, we have finally Christina Martin. She is a criminal lawyer who honestly thinks that we have the best judicial system in the world and, well, we can't make any changes at all. How you doing? Uh -huh. All right. Everybody's good. Are you guys ready to get into the game? All right, we're going to be testing these three on exactly what they know about the judicial system and is it messing up our country? All right, everybody looks to be ready. They got their markers in their hand, they're ready to write down the answers. And here is question one. In Florida, what percentage of kids arrested in school are African American black? And begin. And time. Please flip your answers over. 2%, 80%, percent and 30%. I'm sorry, each one of you are wrong. In Florida, more than 50% of the kids arrested in school are black, even though they account for just 21% of the youth population in the state. Judge, how do you feel about being, well, overly <laughs> indicative, saying 80%? Well, I'm closer to being right than the other two. I. I think that gives me some kind of credibility, doesn't it? Say. Well, that's actually 100% not true. Travis, come on out and show them how to do it. Nice. Great job. Exciting. <laughs> Good job, Travis. I'm sure we'll be seeing you later. All right, moving on to question what? number two. Kids as young as what age can be held in solitary confinement. Go ahead, mark your answers. Looks like everybody's done. Flip your answers over. Uh, wrong, 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 and wrong again. Actually, you guys, kids as young as 11 are held in solitary confinement. No. You put them there, officer. What do you think? Curious where you're getting your statistics from. All right, Travis, come on out again and show them who's boss. Hey. Feeling good, feeling lucky, all three of you. Moving on to the next question. What developed country incarcerates more children than the United States? What developed country incarcerates more children than the United States? Looks like everybody's done. Flip over your answer. Saudi Arabia, USSR, Australia. <laughs> Once again, everybody is wrong. The US, the United States, incarcerates more children than any other developed country. No. Travis, oh. come on out. Bang, boom, biff, bam, and pow. 
<laughs> Looks like Batman's on the set, smacking all of you. Let's go into the next question. So last year in Louisiana, an eighth grader was arrested for battery and spent six nights in juvenile jail for battery charges. What did he do to get this charge? Flip him around. He pulled a gun out of his pants and fired at his rival school. It's a good idea, but you're wrong. Assaulted another child, and you're wrong. Beaten another student to the point of hospitalization. Good spelling, but lawyer, you're wrong. No, last year he spent nights in jail charged for battery because he threw Skittles at another boy. Oh. Wow. Wow. Huh? Somebody has a gluten deficiency. Officer, what do you think? Well, I'd like to know the full story. Well, the full story is he spent six nights in jail. Got another good story for you. A seventh grader with special needs who spent a night in jail for cursing in a school parking lot. Lawyer, what do you think? I need more information. A 10-year-old autistic girl who was dragged and pinned to the ground by school police. All of these kids were African-American black. Judge, what do you think? I think they shouldn't be on the drugs that they're on all the time. That's the problem. There's probably drugs in the house. She probably had the strength of three men. Yeah, we're talking about a school parking lot. Once again, you're not listening. Travis, come on in. Dispense your own style of justice. Seems like it. No. Do me a favor, everyone raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Stick out your left one. Mmm. Uh, mmm. <laughs> Give it to them. Sex or shopping. How many states in the United States is there no minimum age to charge a child with a crime? Bang! Mm. Woo! How many states have passed laws that prohibit or limit the use of solitary confinement to for juveniles? Nice. Three times as sweet. Nationally, black students account for how much of all student arrests? Nice. Great job. Exciting. How much do Americans pay per year to lock up kids in America. Hey. What percentage of kids in the juvenile justice system have a mental health disorder? Biff, Ooh. bam, uh. and pow! <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I, I feel a little embarrassed. I mean, I'm not sure if all those stats were true, but if they were, then maybe it's time that even an old dog uh, revisit what's really going on in front of him. That whole Skittles thing, that, that got to me. I, you know, I, I don't know the circumstances leading up to it or anything, but you know, that just seems like, I mean, it sounds like something out of a movie. Well, for one, I feel pretty embarrassed. What he said about the, the child with autism that was held down in a parking lot, it, it honestly makes me want to reevaluate my career. I can't believe that there are that many children that are incarcerated in a, in a male-dominated jail. I thought they were all in juvenile hall. I don't understand that. I've learned we've got a long way to go. Maybe we need to be more globally minded or nationally minded. Just break out of our little, our little shells and you know, just try to help each other out. After everything I've learned today, it's going to affect the way I move forward and navigate my career from this point on. Um, anyone who hears this or anyone who, who, who this reaches, I think that they should do the same, do whatever they can to be a better person. And I will do my part, and I hope that as everyone becomes educated, they do their part as well. I really think the only way to beat the breathalyzer was with clear liquor. Um, I just heard about the whole sucking on a penny myth. That's just nasty. Imagine yeah. the germs where all of those coins have been. All types of arcades and... Shit. <laughs> Gum and Visine and a nice smile will get you out of it. Or a girl, maybe.